ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Oh, now, what's up with Doja Cat? What is going on with her? First of all, I just get like, I don't know. Like, the whole demonic thing that she's trying to push is a total turnoff to me. But she wants to push all this dark imagery and, you know, all this devilish stuff and whatever. Doja Cat does make good music. I, I would never take that from her. I think she's very talented. But she has one of the nastiest attitudes that I have ever seen from a celebrity to their fans. And the thing that's even crazy with Doja Cat is that a majority of her fans are white. Like these are like white, young, teeny boppers who really support her. She went off on them for calling themselves kittens. Um, she just talks to her fans real greasy. And then she'll talk to them greasy and be like, oh, my concert is coming up. Oh, y'all need to go buy this. Or y'all need to go stream that. Now, what she needs to understand, Miss Alley Cat, with her nasty attitude, keep on shitting on your fans, and you're going to learn that eventually your fans will go away. To have fans and people who truly support you is a blessing. Recently, she went off on her, um, you know how like these fans all have like different fan pages, like the, the celebrities have fan pages. So like you have Barty Gang, you have the Bards, you have like different fan pages. Well, Alley Cat, her fans had several big fan pages for her. They all deactivated. After she cussed out her fans and went in on them, they deactivated everything. Let me see if I can find the article. As they should have. Doja Cat fans deactivate pages after she lashes out. I don't know why, I don't know like why she's become so arrogant and mean. I don't get it. It's not that serious. Hold on. Let me share this tab. Okay, here it is here. So this is what she said. My fans named my fans don't name themselves shit. If you call yourself a kitten or fucking kittens, that means you need to get off your phone, go get a job, and help your parents with the house. Let me click on this because it's small. Hold on. Let me share this tab. Then she says, my life, my rules, my attitude. Somebody says, I want to hear you say, I do love you guys as usual that you say to your fans. She says, I don't though, because I don't even know y'all. Then the person says, we don't know you, but we have supported you through thick and thin. Mind you, you've been, you'd be nothing without us. You'd be working at a grocery store making songs on a fucking garbage band. <laughs> on a, in a fucking garage band, Miss High School Dropouts. And then she says, nobody forced you. I don't know why you're talking to me like you're my mother, bitch. You sound like a crazy person. <clears throat> yeah, she's a stray cat. I don't, I lost respect for her. And it, this is not the first time. She's been talking to her fans real saucy for a while now. And I think this is a good example. I think all of these fans need to see stuff like this. And to realize that to a lot of these celebrities, you're nothing but streaming numbers, people to buy their merch. A lot of them don't really respect their fans. They don't really want you coming up to them, talking to them. They look at you guys as the help. And that's the attitude I get from Doja Cat. Now, Doja Cat, yes, yeah, she's had a lot of number one hits. She's had a lot of good music, you know, things like that. But, you know, be careful of the people that you step on especially when you're talking about your supporters because she'll go off on folks on social media 
and then want y'all to buy her concert tickets to come see her live. And for what I'm hearing, a lot of the Doja Cat fans, they've been selling their tickets. They're not going to go support her because of how nasty she's been to them. And I don't blame them. At the end of the day, people work hard for their money. Everybody's out here working. And so for anybody to spend money with you, that is a blessing. Just like here, people sending me super chats. That is a blessing. Nobody has to do anything. Anything extra that somebody wishes to do is a blessing. So to be talking to the people who literally helped fund your career, helped get you these number ones, I think she got a Grammy, if I'm not mistaken, to talk to them crazy is insane. So yeah, I'm going to start calling her Alley Cat because she has a nasty attitude. And it seems like her attitude has gotten nastier once she started dabbling with all that demonic stuff. You know, all these weird pictures that she's posting and, you know, she keeps trying to like go to the dark side. And I feel like them demons are going inside of her and she's like lashing out at people. And it's really unfortunate because you're lashing out at the same people who literally supported you when you were a nobody. You know, nobody in the music industry, not saying in life, but like in the music industry. So I just find that disgusting. Don't nobody owe you shit. You know, just like I had I had made a joke the other day, you know, I had talked about at my last live stream about the whole tipping situation, because a lot of people are talking about how tipping is getting out of hand. So on the last stream, I talked about that, how, you know, for like the first six months, you know, I was tipping constantly. And I'm like, why am I tipping when I'm literally going to Subway? Like, I'm not even sitting. I'm literally grabbing my sandwich or I'm going to like just like the gas station, we'll get a coffee. And this whole iPad is, you know, do you want a tip? And so I had made a joke like, no, not when I go out, you know, I, I hit no tip with my whole chest. So I have posted a video on my Instagram about it, you know what I mean? To kind of tie into what we had talked about in the last stream. And, you know, you had people like mad and upset. It's like, no, nobody owes you a tip if they're not sitting down. Now, when I go to a sit-down restaurant, no, I definitely tip. If anything, I go above and beyond just because I know that's a lot of work. You know, if somebody is delivering food to my home, I definitely tip because their gas is not free. But if I'm driving to a location and I'm literally just ordering one or two things off the menu and all you're doing is making it and handing it to me and I'm not sitting down, that doesn't necessarily, you know, nobody has to tip you. There's been times where I have tipped, of course, because I wanted to, but nobody has to do anything. Just like with Super Chats, nobody has to send a Super Chat. I've never one time asked for a Super Chat, begged for a Super Chat. I've seen YouTubers literally say, I'm not saying nothing else. I'm, not, I'm We're going to sit here in silence. We're going to sit here and stare at each other until somebody sends a Super Chat. And they will sit there like this. And won't say a word for a good five minutes until somebody sends the money. What kind of shit is that? You got people who will stop an entire stream if nobody send the money. Well, since y'all ain't sending no super chats, I'm about to leave and they'll get up and go. So again, don't nobody got to do nothing. Anything you get from anybody is extra. Be thankful, be humble, and be appreciative of that. Because don't nobody got to stream your music. Don't nobody got to send you a super chat. Don't nobody got to tell you that they love you. Don't nobody got to do anything. Anything that somebody chooses to do, be grateful for that. I will never understand that when I watch people literally scream at their, their so-called fans and their, you know, their subscribers because they're not sending money. That's insane. People send what they can send, what they want to send. And if they don't want to send, still put on the same show. I don't care if you're sending me $100 or 99 cent. I'm still going to read your super chat. If it pops up, I'm going to still, you know, thank you. Like, like when did people being grateful, when did gratefulness just get thrown out the window? It's like everybody has a sense of entitlement. That's the best way to describe it. A lot of these companies got comfortable during C-19 because a lot of people felt bad. Because remember during C-19, you had people working. And they're putting themselves at risk. 
So a lot of, you know, people be like, oh, wow, you know, you're working during the pandemic. Let me go ahead and give you a little bit extra just because you're putting your life on the line. So then these companies got greedy because remember before we would just give people the money. Like, oh, okay. Oh, damn, they got you working. Okay, well, here go extra five. Keep the change. Then once they seen that people were willing to give, then they started trying to make it mandatory. They started getting a sense of entitlement. Uh-uh, you don't get entitled to other people's money. If the, if the item I'm purchasing is $6 and I'm paying for the item, that's all it is. That's the end of the transaction. I give you the money, you give me said item, I walk out the door. You can't then beg for a tip for doing your basic job. So a lot of these companies got very entitled and they feel like the public should now supplement these workers' incomes. No, you should be paying them more. If people want to give a tip, who? Cool. But don't nobody owe you a tip. You have people in the comment section mad. You're mad because I didn't want to give somebody a tip in a restaurant, in a, in, a, in a place to eat that I'm grabbing, that I'm not even in there for two minutes, you're insane. If I want to, that is my choice. If I don't want to, I don't have to. Well, you don't know. That could make or break her having to pay for daycare. Now you're just playing semantics. Your paycheck should be paying for daycare, not my tip. So if I didn't come in that day, is her baby not going to be able to go to daycare? Y'all just be on some mush mouth shit that don't even make no sense. Your paycheck is supposed to be paying for that. Anything that somebody decides to do is extra. But again, a lot of these celebs, a lot of folks, they now have in their head a sense of entitlement. Remember, there was that pizza guy. He went to that lady's house. She gave him a $5 tip. He gonna say, you got a nice house here. Now you're gonna give me a $5 tip? She was like, huh? He was like, fuck you, and stuck up his middle finger and walked off. It went viral. The sense of entitlement. I could see she didn't tip him. She tipped you $5, but it wasn't enough. And see, that's where we're at now, where even when you give them the correct amount, right, the gratuity is supposed to be, what, about 15%? She gave a little bit over that because he was really only supposed to give about $2. So she gave over that. He cussed her out because he feels like it should be $20. But her pizza ain't cost but 15. Sense of entitlement. And that's the issue now. It's this sense of entitlement. And see, the problem is that Doja Cat has gotten so comfortable getting all these number one hits. And, you know, she gets all these praises and accolades. And, you know, she's feeling herself now. So now she feels like she don't need all her fans. Y'all gonna listen to my music no matter what. Y'all gonna like me no matter what. Okay, keep on thinking that. Keep on being arrogant. You're gonna be out here like one of them damn sag Afro people on the, the on damn Instagram crying tattoo tears about how nobody's streaming your music. The sense of entitlement is just insane. And then how you gonna look at somebody home and say, well, you got a nice house, so you should be you should be tipping more. You don't know what that person went through to get that house. And what does their ha nice house have to do with you? That's none of your business. He knows damn well he wouldn't have said that if he pulled up into somebody's projects. Even if he pulled up to the projects and didn't get a tip, he wouldn't have said shit. He would have walked right to his car. But he thought he could try her because she had a nice house. And remember that dog was sniffing his foot? He like he wanted to kick the shit out that damn dog. That video was crazy. It was on my Instagram somewhere, child. But yeah, no, don't nobody owe you anything. And when people do stuff for you, be grateful. Because people don't have to do anything. It's, it's a sense of entitlement and it's going, it's, it's rapid. It's very, very rapid. It's rapid on YouTube, it's rapid on social media. In the real world, everybody has this weird sense of entitlement, like people owe you something. Don't nobody owe you shit at all. Anything you get, be grateful for. Somebody said Tina Shea had the same sense of entitlement. Ooh, and where is she at now? Remember, she was always ranting and raving that everybody had to watch her music videos and download her music, and people just moved on. And Doja Cat will end up like that if she don't stop. Yeah, she better stop with that. It's like all week she's just been going off on her followers, and I just, I don't get it. So now, yeah, here was, here's another one. Let me show y'all this.
This was another tweet. This was early in the week. And look at her um, her icon. It's just always something bloody, weird, demonic. Uh, somebody says, what should I change my name since she don't like the term kitten? She says, just delete the entire account and rethink everything. It's never too late. And so that was one of the fandoms that ended up deleting it. Um, somebody else says, you make my government name. Your screen name is creepy as fuck. Somebody, <laughs> this person here says, Lord Adoja notice. So I don't know. I don't know why she's so angry at her fans. It's very strange because these are the same people who got her to where she's at. So I don't understand like just all the drama that she has with them. But all that ranting and raving that she did, this is the this is what happens. So now her biggest fan bases, like um, her biggest. Um, hold on. This on. OK, here it is. Her biggest fan accounts, they've all deleted themselves. So Doja HQ, The Kitten Room, and Doja News. And they had a lot of followings. So they've all deleted themselves. So now when she drops music or has something to promote, they're just going to move on. They're not going to promote it. So it's sad. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.